Have you ever in your adult life looked at yourself in the mirror and thought to yourself, wow, I thought I'd be further than this? Well, if you have, you are not alone. Let me tell you about this in this upcoming video. Have you gone to college, got the job, thought this was your life, and then later on would have thought, man, what the heck am I living for? This isn't the life that I've expected. This isn't the life that I want. This isn't me. I deserve more freedom. I deserve more time with my family. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have more money. I deserve to have a much better life than what I actually have right now. I deserve to do something more creative with my soul. Oh my goodness. If you ever felt that way, let me tell you, that is exactly how I thought many years ago when I first became a Pilates instructor. I never thought I'm going to be a Pilates instructor, let alone become a Pilates teacher trainer and a Pilates and wellness business coach. I got my certification in accountancy. For goodness sake, Pilates would have been the last thing on my mind. I never knew that I'm going to be led to a path that's going to lead me to teach Pilates and impact the people and people's lives in the way that I have. Neither did I realize the way that it lights up my life and it gives me that connection to the universe and the people around me. I knew that the superpower lived inside me and I just didn't know how to unleash it. And now that I have unleashed it, I want to share it with you and I want you to know how to unleash your own superpower. Now, just as I share my story about me being an accountant, never having ever dreamed of becoming a Pilates teacher and then realizing the superpower that I had, realizing the gift that I was given by the universe and understanding how this made an impact on the others that were around me, other people that are around me. And bearing in mind, I had no prior fitness experience or dance experience or anatomical knowledge experience. I thought I would never make it. And when I, when I became a Pilates teacher, I had so many doubts, so many fears, which I am sure, if not every single person that's watching that video, most of us have had that fear at some point in their life. Fear is our biggest hurdle. Fear is the biggest thing that holds us back. Now, just as fear held you back from becoming a Pilates teacher or perhaps gave you that and it's stability and insecurity in your mind that you can't make it. Insecurity and doubt that perhaps you're never going to make it and you're not going to become a Pilates teacher or that you're not going to be a good Pilates teacher. Every single person that comes through the doors, comes through your doors to do Pilates, has a similar fear. It might not be relative to becoming a Pilates teacher, but they have a fear, they have a pain, they have a doubt, they have insecurities. And just the same as you had insecurities about yourself becoming a teacher, they have insecurities about themselves, which they want you to help them with. Now, how can you dissipate this to those clients that come through to your doors? Now, by the way, if you're excited about what I'm talking about, you hit the like, subscribe, and please don't forget the bell so that you get notified every time I share a video online. So how do you dissipate this? How do you share this breakthrough that you've had of breaking through your own fear to become a Pilates teacher and relating this to your clients and helping them break through their own fear? There is a very simple answer. And the answer is to be as authentic and passionate about what you're doing and about what you're sharing with them. Okay, so this is something that I really want to share with you. When you are discussing, having conversations with your clients, you don't have to tell a perfect story. People want to hear the depth of your authenticity. They want to hear the depth of your compassion. They want to hear the depth of your individuality. So I don't have perfect English. I don't have perfect Spanish. But when I speak, I speak from my heart. And when I'm discussing situations with a client, when a client comes in through my doors with a pain, with a challenge, with a goal, I'm listening to them. I'm really hearing them out. And I want to hear about all their pain, all their goals. And I give them the time. I give them that respect 
respect and responsibility to listen to their pain. And then when I'm talking to them and I'm conversing with them, I am there speaking directly from my heart and with passion and with compassion for them. And when they hear that I'm speaking from my heart, they know that there are no barriers. So then when you're telling your story, when you are speak, having conversations with your clients and then you can perhaps relate to their pain and relate to their goals, then they're, oh, they're going to understand that there's some kind of level of communication that they can relate to. So they'll be like, yeah, I can really relate to what you're saying. And this doesn't have to be your own story. So, so this is basically how I do it. So let's, for, for, for example, talk about a client who comes in with back pain, who comes into your, to your studio. They want to start Pilates with you. They're not quite sure. They're still fearful. They're still doubtful. They're still trying to gauge you out. They're still having questions about whether or not they should be coming to work with you. And how are you going to break the ice? You don't know this person from Adam. So you really need to be compassionate. You need to listen to their story. And then when you are relating their story to what you do, you give them your story. Now, your story doesn't have to be your own story. It can be your brother's story, your mother's story, your husband's story, your family's story. It could be a client's story that has revealed how you have worked with your client and now they're feeling so much better and it's been a success story, right? So if I've got, for example, a client who has come in with back pain, I'm going to relate to the client a situation that happened to me many, many moons ago. So when I was in my late teens and I was living in the UK, I had a whiplash accident and I went to physios, medicals, medical people, I went to the physios, chiros, osteos, and yeah, they gave me brief relief, but then the problem was never really solved. So then what happened was years later, a, few, a good few years later, I was living in Spain and I was seeing a chiropractor. And the chiropractor was cracking and cranking my neck and I was super fearful of what he was doing. And he could realize and he actually figured out, he figured out himself that I wasn't comfortable with what he was doing to me. So he recommended that I start Pilates. So I'm saying this to my clients and I'm relating to them that I had pain, I had an injury, and then I went to see a professional who actually recommended that I start Pilates. And I started Pilates with this lady called Guadalupe Ruiz in Marbella in Spain. And Guadalupe, if you are watching this video, mwah, this video goes to you. I really dedicate it to you. So Guadalupe was so passionate about her work. She was so loving. She was so caring about her clients that she made me feel so welcome and wonderful. And I started practicing Pilates by just doing once a week. And then I started feeling the benefit of Pilates and then started going twice a week, three times a week to lo and behold, going every single day until I decided to take up the teacher training course. So I'm sharing the story with my client and I'm sharing how from my pain, Guadalupe was my bridge to get to the life that I wanted. And of course, with removing my pain, I gave better lifestyle, better health. And I don't need to explain all the benefits of Pilates to you guys, right? Because you guys are already Pilates teachers and I don't need to sell this to you. But what I'm trying to share with you and to explain with you is that by being authentic, by being compassionate, by sharing your own story, and if it's not your story, you're sharing another person's story that you can relate to and that, that the client can relate to, you've really gained their trust. You've gained their confidence to know that yes, this has helped you or perhaps it's helped somebody else and you are confident that you're going to help them cross that bridge to where they need to be. You see, so this is the strategy that I developed when I'm communicating with clients. And it's a very important strategy if you want to gain the trust and create long lasting relationships with your clients. So that's how important authenticity is when you are communicating with your clients. So thinking about what you've done, then you're going to relate to what actually moved the needle. What moved the needle for you? What actually turned the life around? What was the situation that 
has helped you make that decision. So for example, for me, what moved the needle for me it was that Guadalupe was such an amazing teacher that she could relate to me, she could understand my pain, and then she helped me transition to practice Pilates. And I use that same formula with my own clients. That was a needle mover. And that's going to be the same for you as a client, sorry, for your client to think, yes, actually, this lady is compassionate enough about and to hear about my story. She's compassionate enough to hear about my story. She's willing to spend the time to listen to what I have to say. And then she's willing to create that program to be able to help me remove my pain and move forward with my life. And then they'll be forever thankful to you. And then I know that we've got all these limitations that Pilates instructors thinking, well, okay, you know, we are not fixers. We are not doctors. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. I'm not here to fix. I'm just here to move. Don't even worry about that. Why? Because you're just going to follow the formula you already know anyway. You're just teaching Pilates and you know enough about the method and you trust the method enough that without saying that you're fixing people because you're not essentially a doctor to fix people, but without even saying that, you're helping them gain a better lifestyle, create more movement in their life, which is most likely what they need. And then you're helping them gain a better advantage over their old lifestyle. And they want to learn from you because you have so much passion about it or you've been through it and you know people who have been through it and you have been able to help people who have been through it. And they can see the passion you have. They can see that compassion that you have. And they, they know you're totally obsessed with what you do. So they know you're the expert because you want to make them feel better. You want to help them with their goal. You see, people relate to personal experiences and that's when they're really sold. So having that validity of somebody else having gone through their experience and somebody else having crossed the bridge and gone to the other side and now they're feeling better, that gives them the confidence to say, yes, I want to do this. I'm sold and I'm not just sold to gain one lesson from you. I'm sold for life because I'm starting to believe in the method already. See, what this does is going to show credibility and it's going to show to your client that level of professionalism, that the pain that they're experiencing isn't something that is just them that experiencing, that somebody else has felt it and that perhaps you have felt it or you have been through it and you know how to deal with it. So they're going to have a confidence, the confidence to be able to work with you and gain clients for life. So if you're excited about this video, hit the like button, subscribe and don't forget the bell button so you'll be able to download every single video that I upload online. Until the next time, goodbye.